Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Okay, so today we're going to be speaking about Smart Connect, the next tab, which is the settings tab. So the settings page um, is where you're going to do a lot of customization, look and feel and all that kind of stuff. So let's get to it. So uh, we were on the previous one, which was the Smart Mobile. So click on the settings side of things. So we're going to work from the top down. Um, at the top here, you can add new layers. So this is layers of web map services that you're wanting to view in the alerts page. If you want it on by default, you can leave it as true. As you can see, there's only one layer type and then you add the URL. So this, this would help, for example, if your organization had a web map service or that they were creating. So that you wanted to represent on the alerts page. Obviously, you can delete it here or edit it. But just to show you here on the alerts page, on the left hand side here, you've got the examples and the OpenStreetMap, which is what I've added there. So here you'll see all the map layers from your different conservation areas, but this is a web map service here. So that's how it translates. The next thing is the alerts types and styles. So I'm going to click and add a new one. I'm going to go carcass because we were trying to create a carcass the other, the other day um, and it was very general. So the opacity is obviously the way it which looks to one. And I'm going to go and look for a pool. So he has a list that you can work through um, and you can see extra information over here on the list. This will open up a GitHub page. And then obviously your background color of the icon itself. So I'm just gonna choose gray. If you want the icon to spin and make it uh, moving, you can click on true, but I'm gonna create a new one. Immediately here, you can see what the icon color and what it's gonna look like on a map. Um, you can edit and delete it there. Just to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna go and create a new alert. Um, a carcass and that kind of stuff submit and on the right hand side here I make sure that the filter is on and there you can see it is for example what it looks like on the map itself okay so that's your alerts now your alerts obviously are going to translate into your smart desktop when you sync and these will be available to you when you are assigning different attributes to the different alert types Next page is your default settings. So from the left to right, you've got your date and time default, and then obviously your alerts that you are wanting to be on. The status is whether it's active or disabled, and then obviously your alert level here. So you need to just make sure that you click, the right, uh, click on the right things that you want. As an administrator, I wanna see all alert types, but I can click on and off the specific conservation areas. The last two here, especially this last one, is your refresh. So it's contacting the server um, on your alerts page every so many seconds. So you can change that up or down. 60 seconds is quite is quite good. And then your zoom levels and starting latitude and longitude. So if you want to, for example, work in only a specific conservation area like the um, like down here, you can set in the settings the default value of the zoom and lat and long so that you don't have that massive map every time you open up you can actually focus on a specific area once you've done all the things that you need to do click save updated defaults and these will be updated and applied to the alerts page the last one is the style options. So this is what the server looks like. As you can see, there's a logo heading, a logo footer, and some copyright information. If I edit this, you'll see that um, on the top here, where the logo is reading from, and the footer stuff here. This, um, it's using syntax here. So go ahead and um, look at the manual for different options, or Google it for yourself. And the different colors light steel green etc these are where your images are chosen but just to show you how it's changing the copyright has obviously got to change to 2022 um, when i update the style 
you'll see that it's created successfully and just to show you what it looks like I refresh the page and at the bottom here you will see that the copyright information has been changed okay so a lot of information very quickly but I hope you get the idea uh, and it helps you cheers